All right, guys, we are back now. Unfortunately, we have we are the bearer of bad news yet again. Mm -hmm. um, it would appear that PvP Super Friends, actually Backstreet Boys this time around, went ahead and forfeited their match versus Nvidia Aces uh, Gaming Bravo. Yeah, it's but, that, mm -hmm. but uh, it's not Super Friends. It's a PvP. PvP? <laughs> Just PvP. Okay, yeah, there PvP we go. PvP is okay, a clan yeah. name. A Super Friend is a team name, so it's different. All right, okay. that makes that makes more sense now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. They they forfeited their position, which means they automatically get fourth prize gold. While mm -hmm. we have Nvidia Aces Gaming getting mm -hmm. away with fifteen hundred, and or at least Bravo. Um, they came in second prize last week, so that means that's, that that's going to give them a total of thirty five hundred gold. That's and twenty five hundred gold is enough to get you a thirty day premium. So they met, they better make the best of their gold, right? Mm -hmm. um, not just fire it away. But uh, <coughs> that means we're going to take things into the final set of the evening, and that's going to be between our Taiwanese team, Steel, Steel Knight, Knight. And life is two, two pass. Two pass. Okay. Two pass. Mm -hmm. And, of course, we've got... Well, these guys are from PvP as well, right? Icewater? Yeah, they are super friend team. Right. Uh, except... Ooh. And I could, pace, I, think. I could certainly go mm. for some pie right about now. Wow, pie pie. <laughs> pie pie. Mm. She's holding up a sign that says ING. And now this is where you write down vote, vote for ring. ring. And then we're going to have to wait for the last three characters of the code mm -hmm. after our grand finals match of the evening. So who do you think is going to win this? I mean, we got, the new, we got the new bloods going up against these hardcore veterans that are almost unshakable. So who do you think we are likely to see win this? Yeah, I expect... The life is two parts, but still not doing really nice on last match, you know. Yeah. But they are more experienced they play on a really safe way, I think. You know? Right. <laughs> and I mean, like, <coughs> if if you stop and look at this from an objective point, even if our our new guys, well, what on earth is the production crew doing today? Mm. Oh, there okay. we go. It's okay. Fixed. Here we go. All right. Uh, if we wow. look at this from uh, this map, yeah, I the think first it's time, the first right? time, right? Vervanka. Wow. Vervanka. First time. Yeah, it's a new, uh, it's an old map, they probably, you know, change a lot on this version. So mm -hmm. it become totally different right now, you know. Yeah, and uh, we're actually going to see map number two played out on Malinovka, and round three is going to be played out on Siegfried Line. Mm -hmm. uh, a little bit surprised, we haven't seen a single game on El Haluf tonight, have we? Oh, uh, no. yeah, we didn't we see haven't. that. We didn't see that. All right, yeah. and we won't have the chance to after this set. Mm. But... Um, I would also like to highlight that, uh, again, if our... This is already a good moral booster for our Taiwanese team, but just imagine if they were to go on to the Grand Finals. They would be even <laughs> happier, right? You know, yeah. First time in tournament play, and they walk away with some money. Mm. Well, maybe not the first time in tournament play, but, you know. Uh, I, mean. I, think, I think that's the first time, I think. T.W. Spencer... Uh, I mean, uh, Spencer, he joined a lot of tournament, but uh, he... He do not join a really good team until last season. He joined a, a horseman, but on um, last season, horseman doing not not that good. But it's the first time if they if the the team go to the final, and I think that's the first time T W Spencer lead the team and have the chance to uh, take a champion. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, this has definitely gotten some excitement going for them. And it, even mm. if they don't win first prize tonight, they're going to get away with 2,500 gold, if I'm not yep. mistaken. If not, yep. 2,000? Yep. Right? Uh, 3,000 or 2,000? 3,000, I think. Uh, it's yeah, it's going to be at right. least 2,500. It's oh, got to okay. be at least 2,000. That much I know for sure. Okay. We've seen it before previously. Alpha's shown it to us. But mm -hmm. um, with 2,500, again, you can buy a 30-day premium. That's what I'm using my gold for. And... Uh, I am a little bit eager to see how this set's going to play out, but we got a Swiss Army... No. We don't have a Swiss Army knife. Yeah, that's right. We, mm. we, we still got... Uh, we've still got two Tupas trolling us just a little bit. They've got, in, they've got an AMX 1390 on their team Yeah. when they need <laughs> to swap that out. They've also taken out one of their T-37s. And mm. we're still waiting to see it's some decision coming from... Uh, yeah, it's not that easy because it's a new map. Mm -hmm. Totally new, so yeah. we wonder what, what they're gonna choose here. I don't know. I gotta say, which of the wargaming titles are you guys looking forward to the most? I've already played the beta for World of Warplanes. The only the only beef I have with the beta is, well, the beta server is in North America. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the times, whenever I whenever I'm moving my plane, mm -hmm. um, 
I, it takes a while for it to actually move in a different direction. Yeah, it's really late. But no, mm -hmm. most of people play another, you know, aircraft game. It's really uh, right. I know the one you're talking <laughs> about, but everything <laughs> feels like if you're not if you're not in a tank in that game, it, it really whatever mm -hmm. you're whatever you're whatever you're flying, it mm -hmm. really feels like paper. Mm -hmm. But uh, I've heard some rumors from people who are in the alpha for World of Warships, and mm -hmm. I think that game mm. is going to be real fun when it comes out. Um, yeah. It's going to have real esports potential and really push the bar. Four T-37s and a Cromwell for both sides. Mm -hmm. And it looks like our observer position from in-game has been disconnected, but that won't thwart us from casting what's right in front of you guys. Spawning to the south, it's going to be Steel Knight already rushing for what appears to be the center of the map, while we have Life is Tupas, our mm -hmm. very veteran team, mm -hmm. heading out to the west end of the map. Yeah, but it's a, it's a totally new map. For oh, a yeah. new team, for a rookie, they are the they are stand on the same point, because both teams do not have any experience here. <laughs> I also want to uh, throw out there that uh, I'm, I particularly dislike this map. Because if you're mm -hmm. not forced to play on the western hill, you're forced to go into the eastern brush. And the eastern brush, well, I always die in that. <laughs> but, uh, because on the east side, you know, it got a, a lot of cover right now. Mm -hmm. Before the revision, you know, uh -oh, you know, it's really, we call that match forest. And uh, you, you always die there. You cannot see anything and die. But right now you got a lot of cover, you got short heal. It's much easier to play, but uh, still hard, I think. If they got artillery. Mm, it, yeah. Mm. Well, life is two pass is pretty spread out at the northwest end of the map, yeah. northwest quadrant. I, mm -hmm. I I stand to correct myself. Yep. And right now, Steel Knight is stuck in the lower left uh, of this map. And neither side is willing to budge and rush for that hill, but I, I, or rather that capture point. But I feel as though I'm looking at this both on the minimap as mm -hmm. well as uh, the map itself. And I feel mm -hmm. like there's a part of me that says if we see uh, Steel Knight able to, or not, if Steel Knight rushes into that hill, I feel like it's going to be a death trap because they have a hill to their back if they get in that hill, or if they get in that capture circle. Yeah. And that means not an easy escape route. Yep. So uh, a death on, trap. on the north side, they got more chance to capture. But uh, whatever which side to capture, they're going to pay for that. Because uh, the map is not that easy to cap. So I bet they're going to have a draw again. You know, They're still not going to have a three, the third draw <laughs> tonight. All right, so T.W. Spencer, he's, he's the guy that's doing all the scouting. And, of course, yep. um, on our rookie team here, this this team from Taiwan, mm -hmm. you can actually see that he is the bravest of everyone. He's yeah. doing the shots. Yeah. I think he's calling the shots, right? Yeah. He's the commander. Yeah, he's a commander, and he is the most experienced guy here. So he, he cannot do that. But if you he asks someone to do that, maybe uh, we, we, we will see that uh, someone died on the Maori Nova. Yeah. <coughs> And thus far, we're waiting for both sides to make a decision as to what they're going to do in this game. We're approaching four minutes and neither side taking any damage. Mm -hmm. uh, I've actually got a good question. Mm. What happens if we have two draws in a row and neither side takes damage? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> okay. we're, we're going to flip a coin to decide oh, the defensive okay, okay, and the offensive. Okay, okay. I mean, that makes perfect sense to me. Okay, you but gonna, you're going to just throw that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All okay, right, so I'll give you the chance. <laughs> three minutes and 30 seconds to go on this clock. Uh -huh. Oh, no, he's a blind shot. Yeah, he's a blind, blind shot. He's a blind shot. But I wonder if Kyo just revealed himself in that position. He's not directly hiding behind any camouflage. He's continuing to blind fire. Mm -hmm. And 
we can all see that uh, there's, there's a mildly decent amount of shots that can be fired out of a T-37 within a minute. I'd say 12 at least. And thus far, Steel Knight is just hugging that hill. Um, but Spencer is continuing to scout. I think he might have just been spotted because we can see him just now. I think maybe Tetamaru got vision of him. And he's yeah, acting yeah. as the worm on the hook. Yeah, but uh, Tetamaru cannot shoot because he is a scout. So even he see the, he sees Spencer, he cannot shoot him. But, you know, on the Q, uh, on the on the way of the QM, I can I can, I expect he didn't see anything there. You know, he did not end the enemy. You know. All right, two minutes and thirty seconds to go. I'm leaning towards saying this is going to be a draw, but it looks okay. like Steel Knight wants to make a move. Mm. All right. No. No. Maybe. I don't think so. No. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> I mean, I I just see them budging a little bit in their corner of the map and it makes me think okay okay since all of them are moving just a teeny bit are they gonna do something or no all right <coughs> uh, okay hmm. i'm just gonna spend some stand on the position it's not that good because of the point for spot is sent to the hydra but uh, if he was spotted there he cannot die but hydra spotted he cannot pull back you know totally different <coughs> he don't have to stand there I think. but whatever he's gonna be a draw yeah only 100 seconds left <coughs> and neither side has taken even a spot of damage just just yet mm -hmm. yep all with full health mm -hmm. i mean there's a there's basically a whole oh. lot of nothing happening right now but i mean it looks like uh, Spencer, ooh, he's taking a little bit of heat there. I, th I wonder if he knows, but... No, no, uh, he's just fine. Let, let's just, just blind shot, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> maybe one okay. blind shot. I was wondering if maybe Topics might have had vision of him, but it looks like no, mm -hmm. for the time being. Uh, Amadiz moving around just a little bit, and his edge of the, I guess you'd say, western center of the map. And he's, both sides, again, just trying to play those picks, but thus far, no damage. 50 seconds remaining on the clock. Okay. Mm, Amadeus is going to move out there. Oh, but he cannot see anyone, I think. Right. And once he gets up that hill, I feel like he's going to take shots from four different directions. Oh. Well, non-pen. No. Non-pen and a miss. Yeah, he missed it. Okay, so he got a little bit of vision. And we're going to see a little bit of action. Both sides want to get their damage count a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. And that is to the advantage if this <laughs> game should happen to go into an assault mode game. Yeah. Or this, this, shoot this, this best of three, yeah, rather. Maybe you just need a one. One shot, and you got a damage late. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Oh. Spencer hopping out there just a little bit. Neither side taking damage yet. And everyone's dodging bullets, but... <clears throat> oh, man. Come it's on. Okay. Come on, Spencer. Shoot something. Shoot something, bro. Shoot one. Come on. Oh, will this be a zero damage Any? Zero. Oh, Ice Water took damage. Ice Water took damage. Uh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, Ice Water took a shot. So yeah. that puts... <laughs> one that puts shot our team. team. That puts our Taiwanese team up in the damage count, uh, but... Uh, you know, it sounds like it, you, it's, you expect a draw and without any damage, you know? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, man. Well, th there goes my expectations, my wishes, if you will. But uh, for the time being, I think it's safe to say we, we just had... What's the word I'm looking for? We had reluctance to blame for the draw in this game. Mm -hmm. And I think after the next three minutes, we're going to see what's going to happen in game number two on which map? Malinovka. Malinovka. Yeah. All right, so don't go away, guys. We'll be back in three minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hello, 大家好，我是派派，我来自台湾。那欢迎大家收看战车世界的比赛实况。那想要玩这款战车世界吗？就立即搜寻战车世界，就可以下载到这款有趣又刺激的游戏哦。那想要知道更多的消息，就请上我们
All right, guys. Uh, this is a little bit weird, but I mean, we can see. Well, we're looking at the damage from game number one, I think. Oh yeah, that's right. That's <laughs> yeah, so it was 103 three. dealt <laughs> out by. It looks like maybe Dehydra there. Uh, I'm not sure. But yeah. It's 103. You know. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, like, we got the numbers. No one's gonna forget. It's 103. I'm sure the production crew has already written it down. And. Uh, for the time being, I think we are getting ready to load up into our second game going to be played out on Malinovka. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if both sides are ready to go because honestly if, if they were then that would make that would, that would expedite the entire process of uh, well getting this game casted for starters. Okay, it's going to be four T37s and a Cromwell from both sides yet again. Do they change any tank? I mean, uh, uh, Not at all. Steel 9. Never change, nine. right? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, I think from the first match until right now, they never change any tank. Mm, yeah, <laughs> I think so. Yeah. I mean, it would make sense. Maybe they only have this one. <laughs> yeah, we're getting started right now, so this is the final selection. Here we go. Okay. Alright guys, spawning to the north, it's going to be Life is 2 Pass with 1 point, and to the 3 o'clock position, it's going to be Steel Knight again with 1 point. And a reminder that if tonight's mm -hmm. game ends in a draw, this will go to an Assault Mode game. Mm -hmm. And right now, I think neither side has the intentions of letting that game go to a draw. Yeah. As you can see, they're actually headed... Uh-oh, wait a minute, do we have a DC? Look like. Uh-oh, there's a Cromwell missing, it's not pushing, what, what on earth is this guy oh, no, doing? No, 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 no. It's not DC. It's DC? Uh, oh, look like no. DC. It looks like a DC indeed. Oh, yeah. oh he's moving, he's moving, he's moving. Okay, okay. But he's gonna he's not gonna catch up with his teammates and already the exchange of fire has begun as Tetamaru has actually taken a good chunk of damage, 115 off of ice water as well. I think maybe they were not entirely ready when they did ready up, but it's four tanks right now. Mm -hmm versus five at the top yep, of that hill yep. and this is not looking good for steel knight they're backing down but look at that 113 damage in exchange for 200 well over 200 mm -hmm. onto tetamaru yep kyo trying to play his picks as well <clears throat> greedy fire takes a a hit in the background 117 off of dehydra wow. where is that chromo is the real question and hydra gets shut down almost immediately in this game yep yep and this i mean that's that could be the tipping point if Tetamaru is taken down relatively quickly, however, this game could turn around in a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. But what on earth is happening to that Cromwell in the background? It actually never moved. Uh, in the beginning, I said this, maybe connect, uh, have some power, you know. Oh, but yeah. after that, uh, he can appeal if he can play. But problem is for the commander, I mean uh, Spencer. Mm -hmm. you, you only have four, right? uh, someone may connect. Some, some problem. You have to you know, report that. Wait, wait, look. Critical hit is actually it's pretty exposed there. He didn't take too terribly much damage, but he took one shot for 110. Mm -hmm. And this is still effectively a four versus five situation. 105 yeah. off of I think topic cell. Mm -hmm. And it looks like we still have life as two pass not getting overzealous here. They're mm -hmm. they're still playing somewhat passively despite their four versus five advantage. Um, I feel as though maybe Milk Fun in this position should probably take a little bit more for the team and just risk taking that much more damage while simultaneously dishing it out. The problem is, at this angle, he can't really tell specifically where all enemy tanks are. Mm -hmm. Four minutes and 30 seconds remaining on the clock, and we have a very reluctant to move life as two boss. But as I say, the ice water is in the background, along with Kyo, mm -hmm. looking like they're going to try and head around back and conduct a flank. Okay, <clears throat> so this is that critical moment. This is indeed that critical moment. Does Steel Knight get away with only 2,000 gold for the evening, or do they have a shot at that cash prize pool at the end of the season? Mm -hmm. We're about to find out. Yeah. Do they do they know that there's two tanks flanking? They I don't, don't know. think they so, don't but yeah. 
based on the fact that they may only see three tanks from their current direction that they're firing at, um, they may know that something's wrong, but no one's been revealed just yet. They're waiting for just the right time to spring mm -hmm. on their opponents, but this takes perfect coordination for it to actually work, and behind this, Steel Knight is actually backing up um, to the southeast corner of the map. Yep. They're trying to use the uh, strategy that they used that time. Mm -hmm. Right. So, in game number one, we saw that uh, Life is Life is Tupas actually took 103 damage, <laughs> and uh, in this game, I'm thinking just the way the numbers look and everything else in between, um, our our former PVP team is now in the damage lead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the PVP team yeah. seems that they don't know that uh, their enemy, enemy team has doubled back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, st they're still blind shotting that position. Yeah, because uh, they can ask go that. Yeah, with Alpha's, uh, Alpha's uh, in-game observer position, he's able to give us this information. Mm -hmm. um, the observer for TESL has not quite, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, has not quite picked up on this, but actually he's picking up a few shots that are coming from Kyo, mm -hmm. and those actually do not reach far enough to do any damage to Greedy Fire or Amadis. Still very wise blind firing positions, however, as uh, they're coming close to connecting with those T-37s, but not hitting at all. In fact, uh, they, they fall just short of the range, and even if they were to aim at the ground at that particular location, we wouldn't even see the, the, the explosion. Okay. Well, they, should this be a draw again? Yeah, Maybe. it's a draw. <laughs> it's a draw. So we're gonna... But still, I have the fourth draw tonight, and uh, they have to be the uh, uh, way team, I think. Yeah, they're they gonna have to be the invading team. Yeah, I, I don't think the the PP will attack right now because topics going through water right they now. They only have like I guess maybe 200, 300 damage they lead right now. They right. cannot take too many risk here. Life is two pass actually gets away with the damage lead in this game if they if they just end it the way oh, it is. Right now. Uh, nice position here. Yeah. But oh uh, no, no, no. too late, you know. I if mean he, practically speaking, yes. Yeah, if he stand there uh, okay, uh ten seconds earlier, he can shoot the two uh two top is maybe uh twice I think. You know. All right, so we got 60 seconds remaining on the clock. And now this is, I guess, not where things entirely get interesting, but rather where we see, I think, Steel Knight even now is discussing what they should do in the final game, which is going to be an assault mode game. They know that they don't have the damage lead anymore. They can see it in the health bars that are there right now. And life is two boss is probably discussing the same thing while just passively moving about the map. Mm -hmm. But there's two different maps that this could be on. One is Sand River, and the other one is well, the one that we were just watching in the last best of three that we casted. So for the time being, right now, let's stop and think: what are we going to see in that that final assault mode game? I think that's the real question right now. A little bit anticlimactic here, but I mean, here we go. Okay, and not a tool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, it shouldn't be too terribly difficult to crunch the numbers together. I think that that should only really take five minutes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know, uh, because of the Taiwanese team do not have that experience on attack, we can, we can see that tonight they almost never attack. So that if they are the gas team, I really wonder how can they do that because right. you don't know, you know. <laughs> well, I mean, our production crew is telling us that now this is the point where we we reveal a ring girl, but I'm not so sure about that because, uh, mm -hmm. well, there it is, the final piece of code, but that isn't the final game. That's yeah, actually yeah. IRL, and that's Nyo Nyo. And Nyo. let me tell you, if I didn't vote for Pai Pai, I would have most definitely voted for Nyo Nyo, definitely. Okay. But... Um, Right now, I mean, that's just a, I guess you'd say a short bonus. We're not done for the evening, guys. We still have an assault game to conduct underway. So we'll be back after a short break. Just make sure you punch in that code ASAP on your Wargaming Asia accounts.
Okay, so we're going to uh, head into a short break. Mm -hmm. And after that, we're going to have our final game. Mm -hmm. Hello, 欢迎大家收看战车世界的比赛实况那么接下来热血的赛况呢是不是可以让你想要加入我们的冠军呢马上立即搜寻战车世界就可以免费畅玩这款非常好玩的优质游戏哦除此之外呢我们还有提供不同
All right, guys, thank you for your patience. There has been a report that the final code that we gave you guys is not working on the <laughs> Wargaming website. I'm not entirely sure what that's all about. Uh, maybe Wargaming has not actually activated it on their end, but that's understandable because, you know, Wargaming is busy organizing the uh, the Season 2 Grand Finals that are going to take place where, Alpha? Uh, oh. It should be in Korea. Korea. Yeah, yeah Korea. OGN. I mean, they mm. must be... Do you think they're in Korea right now? Yeah. Uh oh, uh, they already yeah, reached. And hmm. our uh -oh. official is going to our official is going to go yeah. there tomorrow. Uh oh, that's a real problem. I mean, if they're in <laughs> Korea and they they haven't activated the code, ooh, ooh, there's going to be a riot. Some people are saying call nine one one right now. <laughs> but I mean, like that makes sense because it, it, I mean, some of these guys are staying up really late. New Zealand, it must mm -hmm. be what two a.m. right now. I think uh, so. Maybe even four. One or two. Why yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah, I mean, here here in Taiwan, it's already really late. It's 10 o'clock at night. Mm -hmm. But um, for the time being, we have our Final Assault Mode game underway. It's going to be four, four T-37s and two Cromwells. Well, excuse me, one Cromwell for each team. Yep, they and never change tank. No. We haven't seen these guys budge from their tank composition whatsoever. Yeah. yeah. Really brave players, to say the very least. And uh, I do want to go ahead and... What is it? I do want to go ahead and throw out there that we are using... I'll wait until after the intro video. All right, guys, so uh, spawning to the north, it's going to be Steel Knight. They are on the offense, and to the south, it's going to be Life is Two Paws. Mm -hmm. And um, I want to go ahead and just plug in. I was trying to vocalize this while we were at the loading screen, but then I realized that our voices get drowned out whenever we're at the map loading screen. Um, we are in the process of utilizing new technologies to create better broadcasts at TESL, and we hope that you guys will be happy with that in the near future once we start to incorporate that technology. But let's get back to this game. Mm -hmm. Steel Knight rushing off to the one line on this side of the map. And that could actually, I guess you'd say, just kind of be a straight up flank mm. to what That's not Tupas bad, is I doing. Think. That's not bad. But uh, life is too bad to go to the Soros. They switch the best right now. So uh, I'm not, I should really wonder if they uh, keep stand there and uh, Steel Knight flank in. They, they can shoot the uh, left in two pass very easy, I think. But they don't have any slowdown on the south, and they keep standing on the, the short heel. Uh, well, I, here they I, are. I, I, I cannot, cannot say uh, uh, it's really bad, but you know, I, I don't think they got any advantage in that. I feel like Icewater in his present position, if he gets picked off, then that's going to be the beginning of the end for uh, Life is Two Boss. And there must be some alarms going off in Life in, in Two Boss right now, or Life is Two Boss right now. They should know that something is not right. They haven't, they haven't spotted even a single tank from uh, the direction that they are presently facing. But if Spencer does this right, he's going to actually reveal himself. Mm -hmm. Maybe ice water is looking like he might be relocating himself just a teeny bit, <coughs> and he has not just yet at this moment. Okay, even Spencer stand there, he cannot see anything. Mm. It's really weird. Uh, I saw the Chaffee, uh, not Chaffee, the T three seven got really nice big range, but it took not that bad. Alright, well, Icewater, I think, has just revealed himself. Spencer okay. stopping see, in his see, tracks. Yeah. They're firing 118 oh. off of Icewater. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, just doing damage here is not enough. We're actually going to have to yep. see Steel Knight go in there and get the capture. There is yep. ordinary capture time, although this is assault mode. Um, so that means if three tanks pop into that capture circle, it's going to be 33 seconds before yep. they get the full capture. Yep. That's all they need. But at the same time... Life is two boss is now relocating themselves, and I don't think they're going to budge. Spencer took a, a little bit of a chunk of damage there. Mm -hmm. No, I think. Right. Mm. Icewater took at least two hits um, since he started poking out just a little bit. But 
for the time being, the rest of Life is Two Pass is not relocated. I don't know why they're not doing that just yet. They're gonna snipe in there. They uh, they they expect like uh, the steel knight gonna kill the ice wall. Oh man, here they go. They're just going straight for it. All five of them are going to pile in on ice water. In the background, we see 121 off of Spencer, 236 now, 115 off of Amadiz. Ice water now scrambling for dear life to get away. Not quite working out. 23 and 17 off of Amadiz as they, as they crash into each other. 258 off of Amadiz, 142. Wow. Ice water locked out of the game. 372 off of Tedemaru. Milk Fun getting in there, mm -hmm. trying to deal as much damage as he can. 110 off of his hull, 248. Yeah. And that is this is a game that i feel either side could win at this moment mm -hmm. some very low hp tanks on steel knight while life is two boss is still kind of how do i say in limbo right now two wow, nice. Tedemaru. Tedemaru out of the game all three of those tanks locked out now by steel knight all they have to do is knock them out of the game 120 Yo, off of Whoa, nice. 116 off of amadiz it's going to be 476 off of top pixel and wow. two tanks were just knocked out of Steel Knight. Minario, 156 off of Spencer. It looks like he's slated to fall from this fight very soon. 257 off of Critical Hit, 376. He's surrounded and locked out. Spencer is still alive, and he... Milk Fun goes in for the win. We're going to have two Taiwanese teams <laughs> in the Grand Finals. And for I this think that QIC. he and doing so nice on the rush. I, you know, I didn't expect that. Right. I mean, <laughs> this actually wins themselves some marketability as well. Like, yeah. they could potentially mm. land themselves some sponsors in the, in the future. <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, if their seven-man team is mm. anything like their five-man team. Mm. Um, I've heard of some new meta changing for the next season of WGL, but mm -hmm. I believe we're not allowed to officially announce yeah, it on yeah. stream. You cannot say that right now. Right, right. <laughs> we can't talk about that. Mm -hmm. But uh, they did it. We now have two Taiwanese teams going okay. to the grand finals. Yeah. <clears throat> so that means, uh, I guess you could say, maybe they're going to help enrich the Taiwanese economy a little bit more here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, anything else to throw out there, guys? Any thoughts about this this final set? I mean, we've had two games or two sets take it to the assault game mm -hmm. in one night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think dragging it on. I think I, I I've never seen a defensive team win on this map actually. Uh, that last time, as an immortal alpha, right? They chose her. It, the tank is wrong, but position. Uh, the ch tank is right, but position is wrong. wrong, and they lost yeah. the game. But this time, right? though. Uh, <laughs> You are a defensive team. You got really position on the south. You give up, give up that. Go to the. I don't know why they go to the east part. You know, I it's think not they should have. Good for defense. I mean, I think they should have doubled back once they realized. Oh no, they're all at one side. Like they, they mm. could have relocated themselves. I'm not sure if it would be viable or not in that situation, but they could have re relocated themselves to that village that like. That, that that sort of village area right next to the capture circle. I think. Yeah. yeah. More cover. More. Mm -hmm. Uh, spots to just poke out, shoot your enemy, and then hide, things like that. Yeah, but uh, I think it's somewhat late. Yeah, yeah, because they react I was there and alone. They like, know, okay, maybe you got sniper somewhere, so we, we use a fire tank to rush you. Yeah, they uh, I thought they run away. That's right, but it's somewhat late. Maybe uh, ten or fifteen seconds <laughs> earlier, they, they they have a chance to win this one, but it's uh, just a, just ten seconds. It's unfortunate, <laughs> quite unfortunate indeed. Mm -hmm. So, next week is going to be the final week of the QIC. But day after tomorrow, we are going to be uh, we are going to give you guys. Next week we don't have a uh, stream here. We don't, we, don't have, we don't have QIC. No, we don't have QIC. Why is that? Because uh, because we're going to have uh, World Gaming League mm -hmm. season finals mm -hmm. at at, uh, at this weekend. At this weekend. weekend. At this weekend. Yeah. So we're going to have a break. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. After a, yeah, the season all finals. F all faculty on the Korean. So. Uh, on the QIC tournament, you have to do the the f er, earliest stage on the weekend, so no one <laughs> handle the game for you. All right, all right, all right. Do that this, okay, this that week. makes some more yeah. sense. Mm -hmm. All right, so that means we'll be back with I think what, next the week. next Q. Yeah, okay, okay. So mm -hmm. it'll be two weeks from today that we are broadcasting mm -hmm. the next QIC to you guys. Yep. And uh, I think that's gonna wrap it up. But day after tomorrow, we'll have the WGL finals. Yeah. And that's the gonna Friday be Friday and the Saturday. Right. That's <laughs> gonna be the two determined seating, mm -hmm. and then on Saturday, mm -hmm. that's when we cut up the prize money. Yep. Mm -hmm. All okay. Right. So. My name is Breaker. Lisa Addison, 99. And I'm Skip Rolf. And we'll see you guys day after tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.